guys, Becky here, and today we are going to do a glider workout for your butt and your abs. Um, it's gonna be a really great workout. All you will need is something that you can slide on. So if you're on a wood floor or a laminate floor, grab something like a microfiber cloth. That's what I have. You can grab a towel, a t-shirt, anything that slides. If you are on a carpeted floor, I recommend grabbing a paper plate. These work really well. Um, the towel will probably be too much friction. So grab yourself a paper plate. Once you have those things, join me right here. You do not need a mat today. And we'll get started. Or grab your glider if you have actual gliders that's the best case scenario but if you do not a microfiber cloth works just as well what we are going to do is start off doing our abs so this one is gonna be a goodie so come all the way down find yourself in a quadruped position okay your hands are under the shoulders your knees are under your hips and you're gonna put your right foot on that glider all right so first things first you're just sliding your right foot back and bringing it in. So you scoop your belly as you bring it in. Slide it back, bring it in with an exhale. Slide and in. Slide and in. Slide and in. Now I worked my abs yesterday, so I really feel it as I pull it in. So really scoop as you bring it in. Slide out, scoop it. Slide out, scoop it. Keep her going. We're gonna really ramp this up in just a few minutes. You're sliding out and you're scooping in. We're really gonna get an effective workout for the booty and the abs in a short amount of time today. And this one's really accessible if you're in a hotel or if you're away, if you're at the cottage for the weekend, you just need to do something quick and effective, this is the workout for you. So we're sliding our leg out and scooping it in. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Now hold your leg long. You're sweeping your leg to the side, working those obliques. Bring it back. Sweep, bring it back. So feel your waistline. Sweep, bring it back. Sweep and bring it back. Oh, this is gonna be a burner. Just you wait. Sweep and bring it back. Sweep and bring it back. So the emphasis here is really feeling that waist as you take it out to the side. Let's do four, three, two, and one. Okay, now we're going to advance this move. So what you're gonna do is tuck your toes of your left foot, come up to a hover. You're bringing it in and back, in and back, in and back, hang in there, in and back, good, in and back. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Now take a little rest. Just work yourself out there. Maybe shake out your wrists, especially if you have wrist troubles. Let's set ourselves back up. We have advanced move number two, lifting up to that knee hover, leg comes sweeping to the side and in. Feeling your waist, sweep and in. Sweep and in, smile. Sweep and in, sweep and in. We got five, four, three, two, and one, very nice. You can come all the way down. Maybe work through your spine a couple of times. <sighs> Good. Now we're going to just come over to the other side. All right, there's more where that came from. So once you're set up there, hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I'm nice and close to this wall. I'm gonna move myself over so we have room. You're just sending that leg out, scooping the belly to drive it in. Send it out, scoop and drive in. Send out, scoop and drive in. Send out, scoop and come in. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Now we're gonna sweep out to the side. So press that floor away from you, looking straight down. Sweep, feel your waist, come in. Sweep, feel your waist, come in. We sweep, we come in. We sweep, we come in. We've got five. And four. And three. And 
two. And one, feel that waistline work. Fabulous. Now we are advancing this move. So you tuck your right knee now, come up to that little hover. You start to feel more pressure on the arms and the abs. Really scoop your belly up and in. Find that hover, knee comes in, goes out. In and out, in and out. Try to avoid coming up like this. Really hover, that's where the sweet spot is. Nice. Five, four, three, two, and one. Send that leg back, sweep to the side and in. Sweep and in, you got this. Sweep and in, you'll feel your waist tomorrow. Sweep and in, good, good. We got five, four, use your breath. Smile, three, two, scoop your belly. Last one, out and in, come down. Just move through a little cat-cow here. Huh. All right, it's about time we come up and we switch gears. As I said, this workout is quick and effective. So if you don't have much time, but you really want to get a good workout for your arms, abs, and butt, this is a great workout for you. So you're going to take your microfiber cloth. You're going to put your right foot on this cloth. Let's turn ourselves this way. What we're going to do, stacked up nice and tall, wrapping through the waistline, shoulders away from the ears, we're going to come down into a lunge. So for your lunge, you want to have your spine pretty much upright, okay? You'll feel a little stretch in your back hip flexor. Your knee is right over your toe. You're going to drive a lot through this left leg to come up to standing. Come down, come up. Good. Come down, come right up. Good. Down and down and good. It's kind of like being on the reformer and you can slide that carriage bed back and really drive up. Back and back. Power right up. The farther down you go, the more work you're getting through your butt and your thigh. And you'll feel that. Good. Let's do five. Four. Three, two, and one. Very nice. Now come down. Hold in your lunge. Scoop your belly. Staying upright. Nice and low in that leg. You're sending your leg in like so. Back. In. Back. In. Back. Get lower. In. Back. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Come up. Whew. Shake that leg out. Good job. Now we have to do the other side. So your right foot, no, we just had a right foot on. So now your left foot finds the cloth or towel or whatever. Ground it down through that right foot. Nice and tall, wrap your waistline, shoulders away from your ears. Bend that knee deeply. Find your lunge, little stretch to the hip flexor. You can see you get a little out of breath. It's a little cardio. Press through the heel, come up. Coming down, good. Coming down, good. Driving up, coming down, beautiful. Up and down, up and down. You guys got this. Up, woo, and down, little balance. Up and down, let's do five. Really drive through that heel in the right, four. You got three more, three, two more. Last one, very nice. Now you're gonna slide down into that down position. Knee over the toe, connected to the core. Here's that really juicy one. Bend that knee in and out, in and out. Try to get low, good. Low, set your toes free, good. Let's do five, four, three, two, and one, come up, whoo. Shake your legs out, whoo. Legs got a little bit of work there. We're gonna come back down, work our abs again, finish off with the legs. You guys got this. So you're gonna come down to a high plank position this time. Let's start on our right foot, because we did last time. You'll kind of notice I keep refolding my cloth. You might have to do that too. So you're in your plank position. We're gonna stick our right foot on top of the cloth. Lift yourself up into a high plank. Scoop your belly. We got three moves here, okay? Knee drives in, to the side, in, and through. Got it? So it comes in, sweep, in, through. It's a little twist. All right, in, side, in, through. 
Beautiful. In, side, in, and through. Fabulous. In, side, in, and through. And again, in, side, in, and through. Four more. Side, in, and through. Three. In, side. It's okay if you're out of breath. In, and through. You got this. Two. Side, in, and through. Last one. In, side, in, and through. Woo! Take a breath. Come back into a child's pose or just side out. Catch up with your breath. You might actually notice you're cleaning your floor a little bit too. All right, so take a big breath in, sigh it out. All right, see what I mean about quick and effective? Like this one's got my heart rate up, it's working my muscles, I know I'm gonna be sore tomorrow. It's a really great workout. This one, you'll definitely want a favorite. Save, do it over and over again. Promise it's gonna make you fitter. Your left foot finds the cloth. Pop yourself up into that plank position. I'm just gonna slide over, make sure I have enough room. Stretch those fingertips wide. Good, up into my plank shape. In, slide, in, through the center. Good, in, slide, in, through the center. Beautiful. In, slide, in, through the center. Fabulous, in, slide, in, through the center. You've got four more. In, slide, in, through the center. Three, in, slide, in, through the center. In, slide, in, through the center. Last one, in, slide, in, through the center. Whoo, fabulous job. Catch up with your breath. Meet me up and standing. Big breath in. Slide out. We got our last little sequence here. Feels like a good full body workout at this stage in the game. You're gonna put your right foot back onto that cloth. What we're going to do is slide our leg out. So we're in this side lunge position. Side lunges can be tricky for people. So slide that leg out, okay? Make sure your feet are still aligned. So it's not up here, it's not back here. It's right aligned with your foot. Okay, your chest is still proud and your abs are still pulled in and on. You send your hips back, okay? So you don't wanna just bow forward. You wanna think, send the booty back and up. Back and up, driving through that heel. Good, so you sink through the booty. It's like someone karate chopped you in that hip. Very nice, down and up, down and up. If you're doing this at a cottage in a 40 degree heat wave, I feel sorry for you. <laughs> down and up, good. Down and up. I'm doing this at an air conditioned house and I'm feeling it. So if you're sweating, that's good. A little bonus cardio. Let's do five, four, drive through the heel. Three, two, you are so strong. Last one, come down, hold it here. That butt is back. Your knee is over your toes. Slide the leg in, out. In, out. I call this a speed skater. Good. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Ha! Huh. Shake your legs out. Now we just have to do that again on the other side, and you guys are golden. So, up nice and tall. Wrap the torso, shoulders away from the ears, connected to the tummy. You're gonna slide that left foot out. Good. Like someone karate chopped you in the hip, that butt goes back. Drive through the heel, come up. Come down, come up. So work the side bum, inner thighs, outer thighs. Good, down and up. We come down and up. Make sure you're not bowing, pancaking forward. You wanna come down with your chest lifted. Good. You'll notice my hips are tight. I'm not getting that low. You don't have to get super low. You gotta really drive through that heel. You can get low, definitely get low. Good, but still imagine you have something propped up on your head. Good. We'll do four, three, two, and one. Come down, hold it. Speed skater, speed skater, speed skater, speed skater. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come up. Woo! Shake your legs out. Give yourself a round of applause. Awesome.
awesome work. You guys did it. So if you want to catch more workouts, I try to post new videos every week. So we'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks so much guys. Remember to check back once a week for my new videos. Thanks guys. Remember to check back once a week because this little lady will be a little bit bigger. <laughs> Did you poo? You smell like poo. Did she poo? I don't know. You smell that? You smell that? Yep, she pooped. <laughs> Poopy! Okay. Alright, are we ready? I'll change it. Thanks, baby. You are good. Love y'all.